Hi! Welcome to the tutorial of Micro Combat. This is a cooperative game in which your mission is to fight pathogens which are lying in wait in your city. To defend yourselves, you will use preventive measures and medications. Ready to play? Take five character cards at random and place them face up in a circle. Then add an infection counter to each character. Shuffle the attack and defense cards and make two piles. Take three cards from each pile. These will not be used during the game. Each player receives the first hand of defense cards and choose the first character of the game. Now you're ready. Let's begin the game. Each game is made up of six rounds in which you face waves of pathogens. Each round has five phases. In the exposure phase, deal the attack cards clockwise, starting with the first character. The attack cards include pathogen cards. There are four types, virus, bacteria, fungus and protozoa, with virulence levels from one to three. Each pathogen individually attacks a character. Careful though, in the exposure phase, you are not only facing the pathogens. Resistance to medications may also occur. The resistance card goes with the pathogen card in order of appearance. If you can't use it, save the resistance card for future rounds. Resistance to antibiotics means that bacterial infections cannot be treated with these medications. You assign this card to the bacteria causing tuberculosis which now becomes a super pathogen. Special cards may also appear, and these indicate that the stocks of a medication or vaccine have run out. So you have to discard all the cards of this type that you have in your hand. The antiprotozoal stock has run out, so you discard them from your hand. The exposure phase ends when each character has been given a pathogen. In the next phase, the characters who use adequate prevention measures can eliminate the pathogen. Margaret uses insect repellent, so she will not get Chagas. You eliminate this pathogen. George is careful with what he eats, but does not use a mask. He cannot prevent infection by tuberculosis. No other character uses adequate preventive measures and they remain infected. Now you can also use the prevention cards that you have in your hand. Dengue can be prevented with the use of insect repellent. You use the repellent card in your hand to eliminate this pathogen. Discard the two cards. The remaining prevention cards are of no use. In the treatment phase, you have to try to eliminate all the pathogens that could not be prevented. You can also eliminate infection counters. You can do this with the last resources that you have against infections, the medications. Medications only affect pathogens of the same type and their value should be greater than or equal to the virulence of the pathogen. The antiviral with a value of 1 in your hand cannot be used to treat the flu virus but that with a value of three can. Discard the pathogen and the medication. The other medications in your hand are of no use. At the end of this phase, the infected characters are given an infection token according to the type of pathogen and its virulence. George has tuberculosis and he is infected with a bacteria with a virulence value of two. His bacterial infection counter is raised to two. Carlos has pneumonia and he's infected with a fungus with a virulence value of 2. His fungal infection counter is raised to 2. Now comes to the contagion phase. The pathogens pass the infection to the next character clockwise. Whenever the characters cannot defend themselves, 
Kate uses a mask that protects her against tuberculosis. She cannot become infected and so this pathogen is eliminated. On the other hand, Sandra cannot protect herself from the fungus causing pneumonia and she becomes infected. Now comes the time to replenish forces. You can discard the defense cards and draw new cards to defend yourselves in the next round. Remember, you can eliminate more than one pathogen from a character if the preventive measures coincide. For example, Kate uses a mask so she is protected against tuberculosis and gastroenteritis. Or when the value of the medication is greater than or equal to the virulence total of the pathogens. Sandra is infected by two fungi for a virulence total of three. You can combine the two antifungals in your hand to eliminate them. When the six rounds are finished, it is time to count the infection tokens and the defense level of each character. If everyone has survived to the end of the game, which means that their defense level is greater than zero. Congratulations! You've won the game and correctly used the resources to protect the population. If you haven't won, you can still improve your strategy. Good luck in the next game!